What's up, everybody? It is World Championship time. Rob Pizzo, three-time Olympian. Felicia Ooh. George in both the Summer and Winter Olympics. Perfect time yeah. to have you here. And we've got a long list of things to talk about. But before we even get to that, I've got to ask you about something completely not related to track and field. <laughs> uh, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. Talk about this right here. <laughs> just, we usually don't have pictures like this up on the screen, but walk me through Love this. It. I'm an island girl. My family's from Grenada. Caravana <laughs> just passed, and you know, it's for the culture. I wanted to get out there, and I always love playing dress up. That's part of like yeah. what I, why I wanted to be out there for track. And so, yeah, we had a good time. Crown Mass TO, Toronto Revelers, it was a vibe. I can't wait for you to come out of your shell next year. <laughs> you know, like, this, is, this is wow. I know, I'm a little tame. <laughs> yeah, I mean, next year when you really come out, we'll, we'll have you back and we'll look at the next picture. But I don't know how you transition from this to the World Championships in Budapest. But let's do that right now and walk us through this week for these athletes, especially when you've got such crazy travel. You were all over for your world championships. And now you're at that point, you're a few days before. Walk us through what's going through their minds right now. Yeah, so I mean, usually leading into a championships, you're going to have a little holding camp somewhere. So you're probably over in London or you're in, you know, Barcelona, getting doing that last little prep work. Um, and honestly, for me, the biggest thing at championships, it was kind of like, just let everything go. You've done the work, let's go out there and let's perform. This is the time, this yeah. is the time to go get it done. So, I mean, it's a lot of sleeping, <laughs> a lot of chilling, um, and then just going over that race plan. Cause really here, it's a lot about doing that mental visualization as opposed to putting that work on and on the track. Let's talk about Team Canada. And you know, I don't know if there's ever been a point where we have so many Canadians mm -hmm. going into these world championships with a chance uh, to not only, you know, get on the podium, but, but win a gold medal. Uh, it's a really good time for, for track and field in this country, but with that comes a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this team has more pressure than previous teams? Um, I think it's a super exciting time for uh, track and field in Canada. Like yeah. you just said, there's a lot of people competing at the top level. We got a lot of people in the top 10 in the world, and I think pressure is a privilege. It's a privilege to go out there and say, I'm in the top 10 and now I got to come up and show out. You know what I mean? So we have a few athletes that are there and that can do it, and pressure pulls pulls the best out of you. You want to be on the line. You want those eyes on you. And so I think we have a lot of athletes. Sarah Min, yeah. you know, I mean, the field events are like just crazy right now. So I think it's, you know, we're going to go out there and see something special from a lot of our Canadian athletes. It's a different kind of pressure as we look at Cameron Rogers as well. You know, fans in this country are interesting. You know, when mm. you first start having some success, they love to pat you on the back and say, good job. But once you have that initial success, the expectations seem to go from here to here. And all the athletes we're seeing on the screen right now, mm -hmm. Canadian track and field fans are saying gold or bust. I mean, I think when you're a high performance athlete, you can't be going out there worried about what other people are thinking about you. And you know, I've prepared, I've done what I need to do. Cameron is a seasoned athlete now. I'd say Sarah, Andre, Aaron, they know how to go out there and perform when it counts. And so you can't be focused on what are people gonna think about it. That's actually how you don't win a medal. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you go out there and you let the chips land where they may. So I'm, I'm hoping that that's what they're, what they're gonna go out there and do, perform to the best of their abilities. Gold medal's great, silver medal's great, bronze medal is great. And I mean, sometimes you don't have control of, of everything. You know what I mean? So it, whatever happens is gonna happen. Is there one Canadian you're really focused on? Really curious to see how they perform? Um, I mean, we spoke about Sarah, we spoke about Cameron. I think obviously, you know, there are two in the world right now, um, definitely contenders for a gold medal. I mean, we all want to hear the Canadian anthem played. Um, Damien and Pierce LePage in the decathlon. Uh, Pierce obviously won Gotsis. So I think it's going to be super interesting to see what he can do. He's a young buck, he's hungry. Um, I'd love to see him, you know, win a medal as well. Um, and I think it's going to be super interesting with Andre and Aaron in the 200. And I say that because a lot of the Americans are doubling. Andre's only running the two. Aaron's only running the two. Fresh legs. I think it's going to be exciting to see what they can do in there too. You know, a lot of people who know I do this show, friends of mine, family, <laughs> all, all year I got, what's wrong with Andre de Grasse? What's wrong with Andre de Grasse? And Nationals, we saw him not, you know, put up the standard he needed to compete in the 100 at the Worlds. Refocuses and is able to be Andre de Grasse in the 200. Do you mm -hmm. think that was maybe a turning point to kind of a, a season that he struggled a little bit? Um, I thought it was Andre being Andre. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lights are brightest, right? Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes it's really about just refocusing and finding yourself when you need to. 
Andre has medaled at every single championship that he's gone to. And so um, I'm really looking at him in, in terms of like, he's gonna go to Worlds. We're always saying what's going on with him before, but he knows how to compete under the lights. And even without, you know, sometimes you, you can look at the stats and you'll say like, oh, this person's run way faster. The stats don't mean nothing on the day, right? So it's about showing up on the day. Maybe you've run, you know, so much faster than me going into it, but on the day I'm gonna show up and give you what I got. And that's what Andre does best. So I think he's gonna go out there and do something special as well. Um, he knows how to compete, but his top end is crazy. I think that's what we saw in that at nationals. Maybe his acceleration isn't really where it should be. His top end is there. He has a confidence of knowing what he can do at championships. So I think he'll get it done. Hey everybody, if you like that video and wanna see more videos just like it, remember, click the like button and then subscribe to the channel.